Introducing first, he is Cambodia's finest export, Prince Lee. Prince Lee has been making an impact here at the Texas Contender Series for a good chunk of 2024, and by God, I am impressed by the man. He's got a big win over Axe Manson, and he's been putting the test to some of our regular contenders, so I get a little smile on my face every time I see Cambodia's finest export walk through these doors. In Cambodia, do they not teach being humble, smiling at your opponent? The, man, the man's a prince. There's sometimes, there are occasions where you should be humble and occasions when you shouldn't be. Let's Shut hear, your mouth. Let's hear from the Shut press. your mouth. Oh, oh, you know how to do that? That arthritis needs to kick in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Prince Lee. And I'm from Cambodia. I know you don't know where that is because the school systems here are trash. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I just want to give you guys a heads up. When you guys boo loud, they turn the volume up so you can still hear me. So save your booze to the end of me talking. You dummies. I will not Secondly, how is it that in Cambodia, a third world country, a third world country, we have better facilities than anything you have here in America. Ooh, mm, you hurt my feelings. Third reason, Cambodia is better than America. This is the birthplace of your precious little wind dragon. Bring him out, bring him out. I got something to say to Dustin. I got something to say to Dustin. Who else better to defend America than Dustin Wynn? Finally, someone's going to stick up to Dustin. <laughs> Dustin Wynn is the Willy Wonka experience of wrestlers. You and are talking to the year of the dragon, the embodiment of the dragon. And his opponent from the sky. He has not lost a single match here at the Texas Contender Series. Yeah, Dustin's been on quite a roll since debuting. He won in DZW the Tugboat Taylor Championship, the Tugboat Taylor Annual Classic Tournament, defeated countless opponents. Eight, I think. Well, right now, he has to face a familiar foe in Prince Lee. A fired up Prince Lee. Maybe Dustin could teach Prince Lee a thing or two about discipline. Well, maybe Prince Lee could teach Dustin Wynn a thing or two about Cambodia. He could probably teach us all a thing or two about Cambodia. What do you know about Cambodia, Obi? Trent? It is a country in Asia. Oh. It has a very high export rate. Their exchange rate for American dollars is not that great. Export rate of what? Prince Lee's? That's the only export I know of. Well, considering it's really the only thing. Have you, have you, have you found things here in America that say made in Cambodia? You know, I, when was the last time you went to H-Mart? To where? H-Mart. H? It's a store. Been to a Walmart and an H-E-B. Pay attention to what's going on in the ring. See, I spoke with Dustin before the show here today, and he was wanting to see if Prince Lee was going to make a change, but apparently Prince Lee has provided a change here within the Wind Dragon, coming firing out of the gate, going right after Prince Lee. Sort hard strikes over and over and over, sucking the pain and motivation out of Prince Lee. 
A nice jawbreaker right there by Lee. Going with that foot right into the corner, straight at the throat of the Wind Dragon. Trying to push the wind out of Dustin, so to say. With Dustin pumping the brakes as Prince was trying to send him to the opposite corner. Oh, kick right there from Dustin. And now going straight after Prince once more. Double palm strike right there to the chest, sending Lee all the way to the turnbuckle. And Dustin going right after him. Jeez. We are seeing a completely different aggressive side here in the Wind Dragon that, frankly, Dan, I haven't seen since the time that he was having issues with the Dream Team way back when. Applying pressure on the Muay Thai Cambodian style, the Kung Fu art style of wrestling that the Wind Dragon specializes oh. in with a devastating back kick, drop kick to the back of the head. There's a cover. Oh my gosh, so close. Very close. Two count there. A lot of the fans here in Premier Arena were saying that was three, although the referee did say it was just a two. It had to be a 2.99. It was that close. And now Prince Lee looks like he's begging Dustin to forgive him. Prince Lee, I hope you have eyes on your chin. You better watch what that mouth says. Well, Dustin knew better oh. right there. Ducked that shot coming in. On social media leading up to this match, we saw some banter from Prince Lee to Dustin Wynn. And now the referee having to step in the middle as Dustin is being relentless. And Prince Lee taking advantage while the referee's eyesight was not towards him. And using the ring ropes to his advantage with a high elbow drop right there onto Dustin. And here's the cover. There you hear the premier faithful here in this arena chanting on one of their favorites, if not the favorite here from this audience at Contender Series 31. Prince Lee on the attack of Dustin. Looking to send him opposite to the ropes. There it is, back elbow. Sending Dustin down on the mat as he admires his feet there. And going after a cover. And Dustin kicks out at two. Prince Lee's finally able to get this match to his pace. I don't know what's up with Dustin today. Maybe one too many energy drinks. But he was a wild man to start this off. And now the adrenaline is getting a little bit lower. The caffeine's starting to wear off. And Prince Lee, the greatest Cambodian export, is starting to take hold of this match. I think you need to study your more on Dustin Wynn. Dustin Wynn has the cardio of any man in this entire industry. Well, we've seen Dustin making headlines oh, and waves yeah. throughout the Ooh. independent wrestling scene. As Prince Lee was sending shock waves of his own right there, kicking that bottom rope up the knee of the Wind Dragon. Prince Lee doing a really good job of keeping the Wind Dragon at bay right now. And does so right there with a the vertical suplex and now going right after for cover. It's gonna take a lot more than that to put down the Wind Dragon. Well, Prince Lee didn't quite get the hook on that pin cover like he wanted to, as Dustin was already seeking to get out of that before he had a moment to do so. And now going right after a headlock is Prince Lee right in the center of the ring. Dustin in a bad position here, needs to find a way to get out of it. If he wants to find a way to win a victory here tonight. Arm under the chin, that, that headlock is cinched in there. Oh. oh, Dustin right there with a nice little jawbreaker stunner. Sending Prince Lee to the ropes. And now Dustin on the attack. With a strike right there and a chop that you can hear throughout the whole arena here. And now Dustin looking to send Prince Lee into the ropes. Reversal by Lee. For a back body drop, reverses to a sunset flip and a cover. No one home on that shot. Prince Lee picked up Dustin and dropped him down on the mat. Oh, and followed up with a leg drop right there. All of that momentum, Dustin Wynn just gathered over the past 30 seconds, just comes to a screeching halt as Prince Lee puts on yet another headlock. 
and wraps the legs around the torso of Dustin Wind. Great vining that hold. Just like you said, Obi, the Wind Dragon has got nowhere to fly right now. Referee checking in on Dustin. Dustin leaning back, able to get the shoulders of Prince Lee on the mat as referee was making the count. Lee wisely broke the hold so that he didn't hit the three count. Lee needs to keep applying pressure to Dustin if he wants to keep the big man down. Dustin trying to fight out of the corner with a back elbow there. Lee right there in the middle of the ring trying to go after another attack, but Dustin still fighting it off. Leaping is Dustin able to roll Lee through and catch him with a big shot oh. to the back of the head. What an aggressive strike right there by Dustin. Followed up with a clothesline. And a back elbow, Prince Lee checking to see if his mouth's been busted open. I'm kind of surprised that it isn't at this point, but it might be right there with that kick to the face. And Dustin follows up with a cover. Oh, but good ring awareness by Prince as he was able to reach right there for the bottom rope and break the pin. The crowd obviously not happy with Prince Lee's decision. We have seen some of the heaviest strikes at any contenders, I think, ever, and we're only in the second match. That's true, a lot of heavy hitting shots here tonight. Oh my goodness, and there is Dustin right there with his Snapdragon sending Lee head first as the crowd, as they are very bloodthirsty, this premier crowd always is, asking for it one more time. And Dustin does it once again. And Prince Lee is absolutely stunned face first into the mat. The heart will handle what the body cannot. Dustin Wynn examples that perfectly as he sets up. Going for the fatal kill to the back of the head. And here's the cover. And here is your winner, Dustin Wynn. A story all too familiar for the folks here at the Houston Premier Arena. This year at Texas Contender Series, victorious once more, Dustin Wynn. Dustin's got to be thinking, you know, what's the next step for him? He's been, as much as I hate to say it, he's been kicking ass this year. It is the year of the dragon upon Chinese New Year, and he has been undefeated since. Is it maybe time to award the dragon with some gold? You know, it's his journey. So I am not personally going to pitch that. I would never pitch that, not for Dustin. But if that's what he wants to do, he's gonna have to politic just like everybody else. He's gonna have to get in the ears of some very powerful people just like everybody else. Maybe put aside the discipline and honor he lives for every day. So, there he goes. Does he seem like the politicking type? I don't no. think so.